WNBA action on DK Sports. We'll watch the Indiana Fever in this one as they go up against the New York Liberty. I'm Blake Zuniga, and with me at the broadcast table are Tim Sports and Ryan Banapatemi. And guys, how much weight should we put on these early season standings? Well, you have to give credit to the team at the top. They found the winning Now it's just about me. Now it's just about me gaining success. Yeah, I agree. But there's plenty of time for the standings to change. Some of these units have gotten a pretty slow start because... I heard, am, I heard, am I right, Joey? Now you're a dealer. No. What do you mean I'm not? Nope. Hey, fuck you. No. Pass yeah. Mitchell. was still able to be first. That is laser focused on Kelsey Mitchell. Sanders outside. Stewart with the ball. It's like we you. On the wing, Kayla Thornton. Just five on the clock. Outside. The three pointer off the mark. Well, 
Basketball is life in the state of Indiana, from high school to college to pro. They just love the game at every level in the Hoosier State. Playing in basketball-crazed Indiana, the Fever have a great following, and you'd expect nothing less. Yeah, for sure. These fans are awesome. They're loud, and they really know the game. Indianapolis has to be one of the best stops in the entire league. Well, the end of the last decade was pretty rough for Indiana. They were one of the best teams in the league from 2009 to 2015, making it to at least the Eastern Conference Finals in uh, five of those seven seasons. Now, here is Ionescu. Poked away. And they're pushing it up. Egbo. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good, and she'll go to the line. Going back a few years for the Fever, during that 2009 to 2015 run, they were one of the elite organizations in the league. Absolutely. Reaching three WNBA finals, including winning it all in 2012. I am sure that Fever fans are itching for those glory days again. Here's Ionescu. Pass to Laney. Dolson sets a screen. And Laney, here we go. 
And it's gonna be two free throws through contact on the shot. Well, over her first four years in the league, Benaja Laney averaged just three points per game. But then in 2020, she blew up during year five, scoring 17 points per game. And the second free throw, good. And Vanija Laney, one of the great stories from the 2020 Bradenton bubble. Well, those 17 points per game were not a fluke. I mean, Laney made the All-Star game the next year, 2021. Vanija has turned herself into a premier wing. Now here's Smith. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Over Han. Smith, no good. They've been sensational on the board to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a good word for it, Tim. That's good. You usually have the right word for these kinds of situations. Just tearing it up on the glass. How kind of you, Brian. Here's Ionescu. And good that time. I like their hustle here early. Uh, they've struck first on the offensive glass. Those second chance buckets really contributing to their lead. Now here's Henderson. Pass to Smith. Here's Egbo. And the shot counts. She's fouled. That's a chance for a three-point play. Coach has always told me that if you battle for offensive rebounds, you're guaranteed a high-quality shot on the follow, just like she got there. And that one misses. New York in the lead. Here's Johannes. Pass to Ionescu. Off target from outside. And it's the fever ball. And here's Henderson. Covered by Ionescu. Five to shoot. From the elbow. No good off the back of the rim. Stewart up top, covered by Smith. Stewart with the ball. Smith is there. Pass to Johannes. From deep. Hits it from three-point range. Off to a strong start on the glass. Six points of second chance buckets. Yeah, you like their effort level here in the early going. And if you don't, oh well, because I like it. You know, they're just making things happen. Blocked. They recover it. Here's Davis. Nailed from three-point land. I'm not the biggest fan of that shot, but guess what? She had the space to get it off, so why not? And five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Laney outside. Pass to Johannes. Releases. Again, the Liberty. Good for two. Now here's Henderson. Here's Smith. And she converts the layup. Possesses the size to have presence inside. Smith continuing to work on that technique, and she is getting better with each season. And that does it for the first quarter. Liberty out in front, leading by... And the first quarter in the books, second about to get underway. And taking a look at the Liberty performance here. Guys, what are your thoughts? Lots of their points have come from shots inside the key. And that's where they should continue to attack moving forward. I mean, why change the plan until they make you? Absolutely. Now here's Vandersloot. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Three, Kayla Thornton. It's hauled in by Nelissa Smith. Indiana trailing. Angsler with it. Down low. to a good start as she hits her first shot at them. Well, you love the combination of skill and power that Angsler brings to the court. Vandersloot outside. Pass to Thornton. Here's Jones. Wide open. And she gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. 
understanding how to get open, and I think it's because of Jones's ability to make hard, precise movements to free herself up from defenders. Here's Wallace. Stolen by Kayla Thornton. To the middle, Johannes. That's in, and she's now three for three and looking sharp. Very nice vision to find the open teammate. Thornton, a pretty good passer for a bit. Pass to Angsler. Cannon, defended by Stewart. Now here's Henderson. Launches a three. A rebound by Brianna Stewart. Hard work on the glass once again, guys. They've put a lot of effort into their rebounding. And that interior play, it's made a big difference in this game. Now here's Vandersloot. She's been patient so far, nothing yet on the scoreboard. And it's Stewart missing. Well, I'm gonna say the defense got pretty lucky right there because she's gonna make a lot more of those that she misses when she gets that much. Angsler with it, covered by Thornton. Now Wallace, five on the clock. But they'll get another chance. Pass to Henderson. Here's the three. The three-pointer is on target. And we know Henderson can drain it from deep. And if we remember it, well, the defense, they must remember it. Vandersloot outside. Here's Thornton. Corner shot. That's a miss. Her second after two shots. Up top, Henderson. Vandersloot defending. Here's Engsler. And the fever hit again from deep. Love the assertiveness from Emily Engsler. Looking so confident off the catch. Here's Johannes. She has seven. Pass to Vandersloot. it out to Jones. They waste no time getting those three points back. She has shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves. Now a timeout called by Indiana. Well, thinking back to those 2021 WNBA Finals, Courtney Vandersloot was unreal. I and mean, dishing out at least 10 assists in each of the four games, a big reason the Sky won it all. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Wheeler can't get it to go. Well, if this ball game comes down to the rebounding battle, they'll be the ones coming out on top. They've had a strong game on that front without question. Jones, guarded by Wheeler. It falls for her seventh bucket of the contest. She's seven for nine today. And that 2021 playoff run for Courtney Vandersloot, just incredible. It really was. Courtney set the assist record for a single postseason, so she's got pretty much every assist record now. But way more important than that, Vandersloot took home her first WNBA title. Now here's Wheeler. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Mitchell. That three off the mark. I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Looked good here, too. I'm as shocked as you. Pass to Thornton. And here is Vandersloot. Jones with it. Guarded by Wheeler. The jump hook. The fever pull it in. Mitchell. Screen by Smith. Back to Wheeler. For three. Buries the long-range jumper. Well, they're getting their points now almost exclusively from three-point range for the last five makes from beyond the arc. And the defense practically giving them those shots. And they'll take them. Now here's Vandersloot. Thornton outside. Pass to Jones. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Smith. Again, the miss by Jonquil Jones. outside left side Wheeler here's Cannon back
back to Wheeler. Mitchell. Uses the glass to drop it in. There isn't a part of the court that Mitchell won't let it fly. When she hits from the mid-range, it just increases timeout, the headache for the D. Timeout called the Liberty. The Fever making a switch here. Gordon outside. Back to Inescu. Shot clock at five. The three-pointer off the mark. Now here's Mitchell, covered by Inescu. The left wing. And stolen by Dolson. Thornton outside. Pass to Han. Let's go with a three. That one is off. And Indiana will go the other way with it. Now here's Davis. She's guarded closely. That go no good. And here's Laney. Three Kayla Thornton. It's hauled in by Cannon. And they're right on the brink of taking the lead. This is an absolutely critical moment in this game. Pass to Davis. Here's Mitchell, covered by Ionescu. Shot by Mitchell, no good. New York leading. Ionescu outside. Trying to get back on track. The Fever pull it in. Now here's Mitchell. Seven points in the game. Covered by Inescu. Davis up top. There's the three. On grabs the miss. So it's New York with it. They've led by as much as 10. Sabrina Ionescu from outside. No good. And she continues to search for her rhythm. It's eluded her so far. Pass to Davis. Mitchell. Davis covered by Thornton. Take the lead, missing. Laney outside. Oh, it's good, and she drew the contact on the shot, so she'll go to the line. Three-point play opportunity. First person to foul, team's first. And the free throw, no good. After that breakout season of the 2020 bubble, Anaija Laney has become a star in this league. Mitchell outside. There's a screen by Davis. Shot by Mitchell, no good. Offensively, they did a good job in the first quarter of getting themselves to the line but not here in the second. I have to wonder what coach thinks of that. Exactly. Everything's hey. been perimeter oriented. And you have to be hitting shots to play that way. Nice to see the strong inside game they're playing in this quarter. Sabrina Ionescu might be the most hyped player we've ever seen coming into the league. I mean, when you think about draft night 2020, her jersey sold out within minutes of the Liberty taking her. We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Egbo. Thanks, Lurt. Defended by Laney. Here's Henderson. Drills it from outside. Henderson. 
Ionescu outside. Stewart. And a great assist that time by Sabrina Ionescu as that one goes in. You gotta appreciate how Ionescu reads the defense. A terrific job of finding the open teammate there. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Liberty out in front, leading by four. And don't go away after the break. We'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three.